This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode, you will learn how to make temperature logger using Arduino. MLX9614 Contactless Infrared Temperature Sensor, SD Card Module, and DS3231RTC Real Time Clock. For the data logging, I'll be using Microsoft Excel. For the implementation of this project, it is not necessary for you to use the temperature sensor. You can use any other sensor and if you guys don't need the date and time, you can also drop the DS3231 real time clock from your components list. If you don't have this SD card module, you can just use a micro SD card adapter. I have already made a video on this. I have also made a video on DS3231 real time clock. So you must watch my previous videos for learning the most basic things. Now let me tell you what is my purpose of using real time clock with temperature sensor. You people know very well that due to the global warming the temperature of the earth atmosphere has increased considerably and this is not a good thing at all. I want to display the temperature as well as the date and time in the excel sheet so that I can easily know what the temperature was on which date and time. This way I can compare my recorded data with the next year's temperature values. I have also selected MLX 9614 on some basis because this temperature sensor is very fast as compared to other sensors. And another good thing about this temperature sensor is that it's a non-contact infrared temperature sensor. So MLX 9614 is a best choice for this temperature logger project. After sharing with you some useful information, now I'm going to explain its working and then I will start practical demonstration. And afterwards, I will explain circuit diagram, Arduino programming, how to open the recorded data in an Excel sheet, and then how to display the temperature data using graphs. I have connected everything as per the circuit diagram, which I will explain in a minute. Its working is very simple. Arduino measures the temperature using the MLX 9614 temperature sensor and takes the date and time information from the DS3231 real time clock. Finally, Arduino stores this data in the micro SD card using CSV comma separated values format. I will be storing the date, time, day, and temperature information in the file. For demonstration purposes, I will be logging data at 2 seconds intervals, but if you want, you can increase or decrease this time interval in the programming. Now let's go ahead and start our practical demonstration. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description.
I'm sure you may have fully understood the advantage of data logging and how beneficial it can be during the post analysis. Right now, I'm displaying the temperature values versus the time. You can check the temperature at any particular time. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The 5 volt and ground pins of the SD card module are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground. CS is connected with pin 10, MOSI is connected with pin 11, SCK is connected with pin 13 and MISO is connected with pin 12 of the Arduino. Is the MLX9614 temperature sensor and DS3231 RTC real-time clock both are I2C supported modules so that's why the SDA and SCL pins of both the modules are connected with the A4 and A5 pins of the Arduino. A4 is the SDA and A5 is the SCL. The VN and ground pins of the MLX9614 are connected with the 3.3V and ground pins while the VN and ground pins of the DS3231 module are connected with the 5V and ground pins. On the left side is the regulated 5V power supply based on the linear voltage regulator 7805. Now let's take a look at the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download the sd.h, rtc, lib.h, and dfrobot underscore mlx9614.h libraries. To install the sd.h library, simply click on the sketch menu, then go to include library and click on the manage libraries. Type sd in the search box. As you can see, I have already installed the latest version of the SD library. Repeat the same steps for the RTC LIB library. Now repeat the same steps for the dfrobot underscore mlx 9614 library. After you have installed all the required libraries, then all you need is this program which you can download from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Anyway, all the instructions are well commented so you won't have any problem in understanding the code. You can see I'm using a delay of 2 seconds. You can increase or decrease this time interval. I know using delays really disturbs the normal execution of the code so if you want you can use a timer to run the take reading function so that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.